Hey, good morning. Travels with Dottie here, and it is the 5th of June, 2024. It's a Wednesday in a week, exactly a week from today. I am going to be on the road. You're going to be with me. We're going to be driving from here, um, probably someplace to the in the middle of Arizona for the first night, and then the second night will be in beautiful Las Vegas, New Mexico. It's Story Lake State Park for two weeks. Going to be meeting up with um, Sally Forth. If you haven't subscribed to her channel, get out there and do that now. It's S A L L Y F O R T H. And we'll be doing, I'm going to guess, probably a bunch of videos together. Um, we each have a dog and they like each other. She has Kit, I have Dottie. Anyway, what was I thinking about today for a video? Well, I was thinking about. Of all the preparation work that I did, what is the one that I look back on and feel the most grateful of? And that didn't take long for me to come up. The first thing I thought about, hey, I picked the right rig, the right truck, you know, that kind of stuff. But no, those are important. But the most important thing that I did, and it involves some sacrifice, is paying off my debts, hitting the road debt free. And for me, that meant um, a few years of really socking money away. And uh, when it came time uh, to retire, uh, instead of doing the debt, you know, a little bit of a time, I invested that money and I was ready with a big pile of cash and it was tempting to keep it and keep paying on that debt. But I resisted that temptation. I took that cash and I paid that debt off, zero. And um, there's a real sense of freedom in that because um, once you get on the road, the freedom is to go where you want, do what you want, and not have to worry about financial obligations especially unnecessary ones like that hanging over your head. And I would even say that this is going to delay your launch by a year or two. I think it'll be worth it. Um, there, and if you, don't, if you have trouble coming up with money to pay off debt, really dig in. Here, here's your motto. $10 matters. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is... If you can save $10 a month on something, right? That's $120 in a year that eats into the interest that you're paying. Uh, it matters. It ends up over time. I find $10 here, $10 there. Before you know it, things add up. They snowball. So where do I find $10? If you really want to do this, you really, really... Feel it in your soul. You'll skip Netflix. You'll skip Hulu. You, you won't subscribe to things. You will find ways to get free entertainment temporarily. Temporarily to cut down on the outflow of expenses. Now, I'm no Dave Ramsey or financial expert. This is just my personal experience and common sense. Is uh, pay off that debt. It's not as much fun as looking at rigs and fantasizing about all the things that you're going to have in places that you're going to go. I get it. It's not. But it, I'm telling you, I'm looking in the rearview mirror. I'm looking behind me right now, and I'm seeing what I did, and I'm like, way to go, Rob. You did a good job. You paid off your debt. You Two, two and a half years later, you are in the essence of freedom. And that's what this lifestyle is all about. It's not about the great rig that you're in or your lithium battery system or the great view outside your camp. It isn't really truly about that. It's about that sense of freedom. Um, so if you have any questions about this, go ahead and ask. Um, you know, I obviously I'm not going to give you dirty details about all my financial stuff, but I can tell you about what my feelings were when I was doing it, um, how hard it was. Uh, 
I, for the last couple of years, I was taking a big chunk out of my paycheck. And I, the only way I could do it, you know, I said, instead of paying off the debt, um, instead of paying off the debt a little at a time with the cash from my paychecks, that probably would have been the best way to do it. That's not the way I did it because I wanted to do something that would um, force me to do it and not have to think. And the thing that I came up with is, hey, do the, the uh, in the paycheck where you put the money into your retirement fund, like a 401k. It was something else because it was government, but um, I forget what the number was, but it was like uh, 20% of my paycheck. But, you know, and after the first time, first couple of months, I didn't miss it. And I was okay with what I was getting. But at the end of two years, I had a pile of cash. Um, so that's how I did it. And boy, <laughs> I had that pile of cash and I'm thinking, oh, man, imagine the rig I could buy now. Or imagine if I just kept that invested and the stock market grows and that grows and I have money, I have money in the bank. But I really couldn't have the luxury of that money in the bank because I had um, so much I owed. I had debt, so I had to pay those debts to, to feel a sense of freedom. Um, I had an old mentor that used to tell me about that. He said, people get frustrated by their debts and go, they're sending me letters and bills. They want my money. And it's like, you know, that's not true. They don't want your money. They want their money. That's the truth. Anyway, I hope you uh, got something out of this video. And I hope I helped somebody. And if you want to get out here where I am, do it. Do it. Do it. Find a way to do it. And as always, I really appreciate you watching my videos. Very grateful. Thank you.